everyone. It's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. This is a divine masculine twin flame read. It also affects the masculine within the feminine and it is a general read. So if something doesn't resonate with you, please don't force it to fit. Take a deep breath. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll start with an energy card today. Today is June 15th. It's my brother's birthday today. Happy birthday, Jim. It also looks like I'm moving. So if I'm not up for some sporadic days, it's because over the next few months, that's probably going to be a really hectic time for me. really funny too because I keep seeing um, the new address in everything. I walked into my bedroom when I went to bed last night and the clock was my new address and then when I went into my room again this this afternoon after talking to my son the clock was my address again and then one of the cards looked exactly like my address on the front door of a, of a building in the car. <laughs> it was really funny and then I watched a movie and the hotel room was my address. It's really funny when things are meant to be how spirit keeps confirming it to you to make sure you understand. All right, so from the energy deck, just to start off the read, what is the energy here for everyone? The temple path, number 12, wisdom. So it's very much about what I was just talking about, just staying on path and following your guidance. That the messages are always there for you. That's number 12. We also have 11 coming up, cornucopia. Giving thanks every day for what's in your present moment. And you see the sun rays coming down there. We have the underlying energy of the healers, the healer of the ages. 51 is the king of swords. Very good for our divine mass and twin flame read here. Um, that's a great place to start. On path, giving thanks with abundance. Make thanksgiving every day. The Garden of Prayer, Lanterns, I'm getting the Lanterns, the, the Lanterns you, um, the, um, the ones that are uh, a flame that everyone sets off together over the water or something. I'm just blanking out on what that's called. Yeah, there's a lot of um, f heat rising, that's what they want me to say. The heat is rising. Okay, so let's get right into this Divine Masculine read. The read is a seven deck read for those not familiar. The main deck is the Seer and Starseed deck, the big cards. And they were cut at 9.05 this morning. Nine is the Hermit, five is the Hierophant. And then we finished clarifying the read at 9.25. 25 is the Knight of Wands. On the Major Arcana, we had the Shadow, which is like the Devil. And then before the read, because I pull a few cards on either side of the read as well that I incorporate into the read, uh, we had the chariot before the read, and after the read, the star and ascension cards came up. Ascension's like the world. We had three pentacles, two cups, and five wands. There are no swords in this read, which is good. Mostly wands, though. A lot of action, desire here, uh, passion. And then we also had the, um, the court cards in the read were the queen of wands and the king of wands. We also had the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups, which is the Wounded Warrior, and also that that energy of uh, the Get Your Wish card, but it's that very satisfied person. Uh, before the read, we also had the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords, and after the read, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords came up. So a lot of players here. We have here um, the King, Queen, and Knight of Wands, the Knight and Queen of Swords, and then the Knight of Cups. We had it was the numbers were very cool here because we had triple twos, double sevens, double nines, and double tens. There were no other single numbers. So double twos is really about that you know one-on-one -on -one relationship and a really uh, positive vibration. 
I remember when I when I went out to um, LA to um, speak on behalf of my father after he passed away at a convention I had like four different stops to make um, there and I had a friend who was having a celebration after her mother had passed and I had another friend I was going to visit and um, another and down the Laguna as well and on that trip everywhere I went were double twos triple twos everywhere the exits it just every everywhere a, everywhere a sign <laughs> sign sign everywhere a sign that's coming up but there were twos everywhere and it was an amazingly high vibrational trip so just give, to give you the idea of that energy um, then we also here though have double sevens which is the 77 of the sovereign the nine of pentacles the 99 of lots of compassion and the 1010 of that very high vibration to keep keep that vibration extra high and the code line here is all about relationship change, but the R was covered, so it's coming up as elationship change. So the, the code message here, well, the, the numbers that came up, it was very interesting because we had 9, nine 10, and 2 at least that came up on the code line, but it was coming up as 910 and then 2, which is 912, which then equal, reduces to 12. But we also had 9, 9, 10, 10, 2, which you know, it's a huge number, but then it's also 9, 10, and 2 separately, which equals 21. So the 12 and 21 were coming up, which that was the significant part, and the 9s and 10s, because that has to do with finishing things up and getting into the new cycle. 9, 10, begin again. And then the 12, 21 came up, the end of karma. So around relationship change, it was very much about the two of flames, which is the twin flames, also the choice of path, the why in the road, and the after death or anti-Christum, which is before Christ, but it also sounds like anti-Christ, right? So we have here is the two polarities being merged together, after death and then anti-Christum. So after death and before Christ, the ACDC, Lots of compassion and high vibration twins of Jesus in our elationship or elate connection ship. And then I was getting the triangle of the Delta Dawn. And then Delta Dawn or the double D always comes up for me as the dogs are out. The divine director, the dogs are out, Michael and Metatron. One is better at nine or compassion and the other at ten. The high vibration changes, but both are good at both. And so after death, but before Christ did, the show of power of Jesus, the human part, not the Christed part, but the Jesus part, the 9, 10, and begin again, again, and again, and again, at the Y in the road, the perpetual co-creation, the choice of path for the twin flames at the last destination for Jesus. So it was saying after death, but before he was Christed, the show of this was the show of power of the human, the human embodiment. The Delta Dawn is that the place, the triangle, the place of the Delta, where the instead of going, um, making a decision on the Y in the road, what's coming up here is the pooling at the Y in the road, right? Because when you're stuck at the Y, that's a delta right there where the water gets stuck, but it's usually going the other way. When you have two roads going to one, that's where the water gets backed up because it's a traffic jam and going into one road. So it's coming up here, the pooling at the Y in the road takes the pressure off, dividing into two different directions. And then when ready and not before, so Jesus stays Jesus until he's ready to be Christed. And at the final stop, the last destination, turn around every now and then so that was coming up here and see the two cups sitting there waiting at the delta dawn in the other direction so this is like like a martini glass going up choice in a choice of path but then turn around to see the two cups that you've been ignoring this whole time because you've been so stuck on the three cups that have fallen over all lanes merging into oneness for straight path forward and backward all at the same time and then closing the gap using boundaries. Get back, get back to where you once belong. So that was coming up as well. And then um, what came up online, it's funny that get back came up because that was totally separate from when, then when I put the message in online to see what came up. And on June 30th, 2019, 
one of the entries there was Linda McCartney's photographs in the frame of Scotland. In the SundayPost.com, Paul McCartney sang of smiles in the sunshine and tears in the rain. So that was really cool because I've definitely channeled Paul and uh, Linda McCartney um, together coming in for a message before, if you've been watching me for these several years now. Um, and then the, mess, the uh, lyrics for Delta Dawn came up in, she's 41 and her daddy still calls her baby. All the folks around Brownsville say she's crazy because she walks downtown with a suitcase in her hand looking for a mysterious dark-haired man. In her younger days, they called her Delta Dawn, the prettiest woman you ever laid eyes on. Then a man of low degree stood by her side and promised he'd take her for his bride. Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? All right, so. And then the number 325 came up because that was one of the numbers that came up in the header. 325 and then the 222, 7799, 1010, that's it. Also 27 and 79 here. So 27 is the Ace of Wands and 79 for me is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And then 325 um, is the area code for Abilene, Texas. And it's also that silver code for 33% gamma and 77% plasma particles, whereas pure silver is 0.999. Um, and that was from en.wikipedia and also from consciousreminder.com, the connection between the number 911 and twin flames and endings. So this number helps unite the union, but also promotes growth in the relationship. That was coming up under consciousreminder.com. And then November 1111 and the dance of the twin flames came up from elephantjournal.com that November is for diving deep. And then 2218 was nine inch nails, the down, quote unquote, the down, downward spiral in Twin Peaks. And they were both from YouTube. So there was two different entries from nine inch nails. One was the downward spiral and the other one was in Twin Peaks, both on YouTube. And then 910, a September 11th story. So you can watch that too if you want. That was on YouTube. It was the number nine, number 10, a September 11th story. And then Ice Nine Kills from enwikipedia.org. Um, and the last entry that came up was Nine Night as opposed to um, um, uh, well, Nine Night.com. It's an application installation program. So N I N I T E was coming up.com. Okay, so this this uh, read I started processing here at 10:15. Fives are coming up a lot today in my times from the time I got up this morning. I went to bed when I because I had the Syrian starseed deck uh, was cut and dealt at 9:05 and then it was finished at 9:25 and then I turned the page at 10:15 and today is the 15th. So 10 is the turn for the better, the wheel of fortune, and then the 15 is the devil. So we start out with the seven of pentacles here in the, in the Syrian starseed deck for me. That's the divine feminine's heart in the E tower. It's like Rapunzel in the tower. So the divine feminine's heart in the E tower. After the nine of wands reversed, player falls short. Or holding back passions, knowing and keeping to self for peace of mind, the Queen of Swords speaks in a bold move, travel or ascension, leaving the E-Tower, walking away, leaving all they built, defenseless to the energies and attacks, the deception and the eclipses, especially the Cancer one coming up, the solar eclipse on the 21st, holding back feelings and energetic exchange for sleep time and meditation time, falling short on energy otherwise. Walking away from negative exchanges, defenseless to the powerful exchange in 5D meditation, as well as sleep and rest, the player eclipsed at the solar eclipse, the Page of Wands inspired by the Queen of Swords, telling the never-ending story of the journey where two heads are better than one, the journey of the High Priestess, secret, the intuitive, the Pisces, jealous, insincere, feeling unworthy of love or rejected, or the Knight of Cups reversed is Libra reversed in downturn, slow down, twist of fate with the past, two angels not studying their books or trying to get past the glass ceiling but struggling in class, both doing the same thing, not loving self or each other or feeling unworthy 
that is their block to get in. No more schooling the golden goose. The golden angel takes a break from teaching. No more off-centered connecting. They must do it themselves. It's too late to put the brakes on now. Getting too old and legs getting weak, they can fall easily. The Ace of Pentacles reverse, holding back time, money, and effort, a new life or a payoff in the downturn, and the King of Pentacles is above the Emperor, perhaps pleased, but the Emperor's not sure he likes that. He looks perturbed or concerned and not sure what hit him. The King of Pentacles, with a mess to clean up, doesn't know what he's getting himself into, thinks the Emperor. Libra off-center and reaching out for help in order to rebalance. And then that comes up as phi, the PHI, which is the circle with the line going past the outer circle. And that can knock them out. For, for me, phi is code that there needs to be a recentering, that, the, that they're off-center. So perhaps a frat brother or a need to clean up electronics that have been trashed. The king of pentacles is surrounding himself with nature. The emperor is the um, the king of pentacles surrounding himself with nature as opposed to the emperor with stone or stone walling, both with snakeskin boots. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree at the root, or the boot is kept as a memento from the emperor, but just one, not two, neither got to the top by reading books. Give your relationship a chance and retreat. Both came up for the divine masculine here. Sagittarius reversed times two, Cancer upright and reversed, Libra reversed, Scorpio reversed, and Aries upright. Perhaps an old man who acts like a little boy and likes to start fights or agitates, pushes for competition, a win or die mentality. The chariot is out being seen and the female bull leaving while the divine masculine checks on another female child, client, or divine feminine. The red flag kept out of the bull's eye to avoid a temper tantrum or a stampede, a fight, or bullshit. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles is upright, the dream family at 1048, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the 48 of the Eight of Cups, walking away and within. Um, so the Ten of Pentacles is upright here, the dream family, the fantasy mirror, avoiding by walking away when the bull tempers flare. At 10.49, and 49 is the Nine of Cups, the Get Your Wish card, being satisfied with yourself, pretending to dance, exposed, actually fantasizing of his time in the sun, vacation and holding back passions, feelings, or just engaging in a heated exchange, a tryst, remembering a time of fruit in the rose garden, or fresh fruit delivered every day, and then having his heart stepped on, left on the floor like trash, and hiding his dessert where he can't see it, behind the plant or just leaving food on the floor for him to clean up after them. Exposing the two-step, the side-step, the closing the legs step, or the order steps, one, two, three, but skipping the two, which is the bonding step, right? Going from the one of the meat to the three of the creating, but there's no one-on-one -on -one there. So the Cancer's upright and Leo upright here, or it's referencing the sun-moon dance at the Cancer solar eclipse and flare I was just getting. And it was really interesting because you know I'll, I incorporate some of these card numbers here, the numbers on them, and then I'll cancel them out until I get what's re left over. And the first one I did over here, this, this group, ended up being just one. <laughs> and that was really cool. And then the second grouping over here came up as V, eight over eight, and then zero, which is the creation of the eight and the eight, which is the divine mass and divine feminine, both balanced and dancing between their own masculine and feminine, and the zero of the human embodiment, but it's also referencing the masculine and going into the feminine, right? How they fit together. So that was really cool as well. So there's a bold move to make the fantasy dance real, exposed, energized, in heated exchange to release the charge. In other words, revving the engine. Self-discipline comes up here as number 41, but even, um, well, these are both underlying energies. The self-discipline was 41, which is the Ace of Cups, self-love, spiritual love, new love, and beneath that was karmic completion of number 10, a turn for the better, the Wheel of Fortune. The Divine Masculine opens their mouth for a hole-in-one in the 88 dance, the crazy eights, like preparations for prom and graduation ceremonies. 77, the prom, 
and 8, the 8, the graduation, which is referencing Lionsgate. So every year that has been coming up for me as the graduation every year. 9, 10 begin again together. So after the full moon eclipse, which has passed, the king of pentacles reversed is ungrounded in a losing battle of detoxing chaos to give up trying to control the third energy with good news, victory, and leading the way on the journey by ending the war within, the post-war PTSD. May is gone, June is here, spooning by the silvery moon, outshining the sun in the June 21st, you complete me, quote unquote, to be exact. Spring to summer, the heat is on, pop top and shadowing followers and allowing it all, even the fall, the darkness and the spring cleaning, growing roots up from the left foot or the feminine side for higher self to catch and establishing boundaries to the crowds with love and nature, cutting out the BS except for fertilizer, magnetizing Jupiter when not positively aspected or charged and taking the lead as establishment falls leading by example as opposed to controlling or allowing others to decide for themselves. All allowing everyone to feel their post-war frustrations at the full moons and at night, allowing success but also grounding and integrating time for clearing the wounds through the system, allowing it all. Transmuting, purging, alchemizing are the key codes. The truth is mightier than the sword because in removing the sword, the wounds are then allowed to heal. Post-war strategy, the Divine Feminine leaves the E-Tower, leaving the negative past behind to regain control over their thoughts and words and heated exchanges, withholding passionate feelings when they're too strong at 1120, which is justice and judgment, and self-discipline and in self-love and in karmic completion at 1121, which is justice and the world of completion. In the recent past here is the Ten of Pentacles, the dream family, business, community, or legacy, and the King of Cups reversed, emotionally unavailable, to the world, to the neighborhood, or to the sealed divine feminine, coming, who, she coming full circle, being able to stand side by side when one is balanced and complete and the other is not, allowing them their space, dumping a load, a burden, a responsibility, and removing the facade, the mask, the act, allowing yourself to drop the ball, to break patterns and start over, not accepting less than. When looking back, seeing and living in the past, the chariot now boldly moving forward with justice reversed or injustice or not, Cancer moving forward and Libra reverse can join if they're up to it. The um, seeing of synchronicities and IDing quote unquote the one orchestrating a symphony, a smorgasbord of choices and options by disconnecting or a breakup with the Hierophant reversed or Taurus reversed or in a divorce or breaking contract, being alternative or being more spiritual than religious. Not for or against, but for unity consciousness allowing all perspectives. The foundation here is the Nine of Wands reversed, the surrender. The Queen of Swords talks of no peace, of ending pain, of a painful ending or betrayal or back pain and associated treatments. Also heartbreak and separation or just stressed heart due to the ascension symptoms or energies. Lower back pain held over the Queen of Swords' head. Separation and heartbreak cause of no peace of mind and allowing all of the thoughts and words of the Queen of Swords to be felt and processed. This is a divine masculine him realizing he needs to allow it all pass through him, allowing all of the thoughts and words of the Queen of Swords to be felt and processed, funneling through and allowing it to be a smooth ride. The central energy is the Ten of Wands reversed, dumping a load, a burden, a responsibility, and confessing to synchronicities and the One, ending the emotional cycle of unhappiness, of running from awakening, egos and jealousies, insincerities, insincere people and groups, or taking back what was stolen to end the cycle of being taken advantage of. Sunshine and full exposure, happiness and no sneaky shit, and the challenge being the two of wands reversed, turning around at the Y in the road to see the Delta Dawn, waiting, pooling, 
dawning this whole time, preparing for their union, but unable to implement failure to launch. Happy with self and work, offering help to prisoner, injustice of the aftermath, cleanup of truth out and judgment, and the Spirit's connecting with me, um, announcements and wake-up calls. The Page of Pentacles, student or opportunity or invitation to heed the call. Hark the herald angels sing. When all is exposed, there is no wrongdoing. Death reversed, releasing gender identity, learning about the man who wants to wear women's clothes, or the buff woman, weightlifting champion, the never-ending story of getting caught, confessing only after the fact, angels calling everyone out, confessing to the Queen of Pentacles reversed, who may be ungrounded, or losing money or spending, weak, needing courage, or, or going through an ego death for reunion and detox of chaos, no surprise the patient angel, King of Pentacles, is needing courage to end his emotional cycle at 11.52, which is Justice and the Queen of Swords, after the King of Swords came up in the Oracle cards in the beginning. Or... Leo is out of control or ego, an ending unhappy family or emotional cycle. Now is the seven of cups, taking the steps. One and three happened, but where's number two? Freeing self from no options. The queen of cups turning away from deliberations, poor judgment, choked, eating their words. Or one who refuses to make a decision in an amazingly strong connection post-war. The Queen of Cups freeing themselves to fantasy family, business or community or legacy, and home with their past returning to get number two out of the way, which is BS, <laughs> number two. No more nostalgia in dumping a load and or making large purchase. A new passion, third energy out of a divorce. It's, again, it's the, um, the alchemy of changing nickel into gold or lemon into lemonade. The break in contract, Taurus reversed, or spirituality, or alternative thinker. The dark high priestess hiding their face and keys over the queen of pentacles reversed, deeming them weak in coming together. The empress reversed, near death, dead tired, or dyke, or, oh, that can't, I wasn't trying to say that. I said dark night fall. That may be it, though. The empress reversed, near death, dead tired, dark night fall, and detoxing for dreams to come true in surrender of imbalance or inequity of the Queen of Wands reversed and the King of Swords upright, pushed to their emotional limit, purging, dumped, or in the dumps, emotions, fluids, and drinking causing the imbalance, or in other words, them being off-centered. No more nostalgia. The Dark High Priestess completes the cycle with patience and balance, taking one step at a time, perhaps with an open book test, or the drinker or potion maker, white kiss hook, or Sagittarius with attitude, the queen of wands reversed, may be one of two lovers with distance between them. One is close in physical proximity, but not connected to the, to the masculine, and the other is at a distance, but very connected to the masculine. And the king of swords is dumping one, or the king of swords is a Gemini upright, or has great affection for two girls, and that can be two children or two people at work, or negative past or past returns with Pisces upright, another Pisces upright, Sagittarius upright, Taurus reversed, Scorpio reversed, Capricorn reversed, and Aquarius upright, and perhaps a reunion. So that could be a family reunion, a school reunion, whatever it is, and or someone lying, cheating, or stealing here, or has been dumped on. Perhaps Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus um, with Leo reversed here too, um, or Dark Priestess could be this Queen of Pentacles reversed. Maybe they got caught in reunion with the devil, addictions, or codependency, or Capricorn reversed, which is not a shock with the patient King of Pentacles perhaps being too patient, or because a patient of the King of Pentacles is needing courage to end the cycle. Soon is the shadow reversed, exposed. Um, the shadow reversed can also be a Capricorn reversed. Exposed home or at home, the page of cups reversed, rejected, vulnerable, shy, or spoiled and entitled, or Capricorn prisoner of their work and happy kids. The chariot in a bold move of or to the magician reversed and the hermit reversed, or cancer upright, 
Gemini reversed and Virgo reversed, or warrior twins, insecure, going nuts, or coming out as messenger of truth, rushing into the guilty to free them from themselves, detoxing from the chaos of life, or free from a spoiled brat, or Aries takes off and entitled to do so, or feeling entitled, and the divine masculine feeling guilty amidst the page of cups reversed leaving and the Virgo messenger of truth rushing in with the harsh truth. He insecure magician or Virgo Gemini or Aries reversed. He sees himself as the nine of cups, pleased with himself, but suffering in silence and becoming inspired from going through that or doing the work. Powerless to the strategy or no longer single or sitting home daydreaming at 1227, which is the hangman and the ace of wands. Two spending, implementing to align, post-war and getting over it together. At 1227 still here is the honeymoon, keep an open mind and wedding that this situation involves marriage. Around the masculine or how he is seen is the queen of wands reversed in a losing battle needing courage or strength with the king of wands reversed where neither of them are happy. One may be Leo out of control or an ego death and there are issues at work, a losing battle, letting go of the Leo reversed or ego to fix, repair, or mend, and perhaps remodeling the workplace, aligning or getting their ducks in a row. The King of Wands reversed is really tired or just sick of it. Either Divine Maslin is inspired to end a work relationship or a personal relationship that has no love in it, or perhaps his parents are the King of Wands and Queen of Wands and involved at work or family and community legacy. The, the blocks the mouse needs to clear here is the King of Wands reversed, which can be someone with a really bad temper too. The disconnect and spreading the word and also can be someone who's sick, but that wasn't specifically coming up here. King of Wands reversed, disconnect and spreading the words, the whole truth to the Knight of Swords wanting to know or is worried about the disconnect that may happen due to truth wars. Relationship change and my, it's like coming up as my sword's bigger than your sword, right? The competition there, when people get mad and they want other people to hear them. My sword's bigger than your sword, you know, like the king of wands reverse saying that their truth outweighs your truth any day of the week without even saying a word or anything, which is very smug and arrogant. That's the way it's coming up. Perhaps siblings fighting or worried about kids disconnecting from parents in a split. The page of pentacles upright is a student of pain and hurting each other in a three-way heartbreak and separation. Pacifying one and excluding the other, and then rebirth comes up, is about starting all over. No more relying on others to make decisions when the disconnect is obvious and the King of Pentacles is the t King of Pentacles patient needing courage to end unhappy family or emotional cycle. The patient angel taking one step at a time and the high priestess both recovering from being left behind. Two angel intuitives of a higher love recovering from abandonment of each other. The lovers, the queen of cups reversed, knowing and keeping to themselves with peace of mind, but not fully happy. And the knight of cups reversed and queen of cups reversed, unhappy apart, sending 5D messages to the stars and back, ascending on the journey and leading the way. The journey of the world tops it off. The Divine Feminine's heart in the E-Tower, leaving no more nostalgia of the past, the Emperor holding back their passions and feelings, and the Divine Feminine surrenders, and the Divine Masculine finds happiness with self, without the Queen of Wands reversed and the Ten of Pentacles dumping a load or confessing their burdens and challenged by no options or unable to implement now, and detoxing the chaos of the King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed, taking steps to make their own choices and break patterns, drop the act. With the Knight of Cups, Moody, Unhappy, and the Knight of Swords, sending 5D messages for dreams to come true out in the world and riding the wave. So that can rep the two knights can represent the masculine and the feminine, but also could represent the two kids. Um, the Divine Feminine, Heart in the E-Tower, leaving for dreams post-war, surrendering and confessing, dropping burdens, dumping the load, and challenged by... The, the fact they can't implement yet um, their choices even though they have them planned because of the situation right now or even just the process of what, uh, whatever they're planning to do. They just can't 
go ahead quite yet. And it may have to do with the eclipses as well. The Divine Masculine is happy detoxing. The Queen of Wands reversed and the King of Wands reversed and making their own choices. The Knight of Cups reversed may be moody and the Knight of Swords telling the truth and healing the world at 1258, which is the hangman and the Four of Swords, which for me is the connecting in the 5D of the masculine and the feminine. Okay. So I'm going to pull another energy card now for you, see what comes up now. Now what is the message for the Divine Masculine and everybody else watching? And it's just 3535, which is two wounded warriors. All right, what is the final message for this read? And then I'm going to get to the, um, I think I still have... Um, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus to do. So I'll get them done tonight, I believe. And that's for the second half of June. So what is our final going away message here for the Divine Masculines? What is the message here? <sighs> a larger perspective to step back and take a look at the world. 29 is the present moment. Manifesting from the present moment from a larger perspective when you're feeling very internal because you have a broken heart, which is the nine of the hermit, and this very much looks like the hermit, right? Taking a larger perspective, being wise. And then we also have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, which is graduation day, which we're talking about for um, Lionsgate, which is 41, the ace of cups, self-love, spiritual love, and new love. Okay, and opening a book was coming up in the read as well. So someone may, you know, may, obviously it's graduation time. There's definitely people graduating right now, but they may not be able to have the ceremony. But this is coming up for the Twin Flames. Um, take a larger perspective on the world when you're feeling a broken heart or you're feeling separated, and that can be just separated from self, and allow yourself to, to graduate. Or in other words, use your crown or crowning moment in the present moment, self-love and self-discipline as well. And then we have 35, which just came up, 35, 35, which is the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. And here's the, it's the first chakra, Archangel Michael, which has everything to do with safety and security and building from a strong foundation first. Okay, so this is referencing the whole chakra system. But this is going from top down because we started with the crown chakra and this is graduation, so that's starting over again from one, all right? August 8th, graduation, and it's, then it's time to start over. So, you know, you always might feel kind of lost in September because you always feel like you've been thrown back into 3D and you feel like the whole thing was like never happened. <laughs> and that's this period here where you go from graduation to starting the cycle over again. So don't allow it to throw you off balance. Just go back to building that strong foundation again because you've just graduated. So it's like a honeymoon period in the rest of August. And then as we go into September, um, it's time to start building again. And of course, that's that time of going back to school in September. So the underlying energy is three, which is the Empress, but it's also Gaia. And this is very much blossoming abundance of nature and the spring right now and how beautiful it is with all the flowers and the birds out. I want to have to tell you, there's a, I have one of those Chinese um, lanterns or you know metal lamps hanging right outside my kitchen window. And there's the tiniest little bird family there. I don't know what kind of bird it is if it's a hummingbird, but it seems smaller than a hummingbird. It's tiny, the mother. And there's a whole, there's a whole lot of, of uh, little babies in there. And so cute listening to them in the morning. So here we have the blossoming abundance, and this is the order everything came out, okay? So when you're feeling separated, take a larger perspective of the world, of graduation day, and then 9-10, begin again and again and again to build that strong foundation. And you see the reference to the red color from the heart to the first chakra. And then we have this very deep, you know, which goes into like the third eye, the throat and third eye, speaking your truth and using your third eye. And then the pinks of having compassion for yourself and how far you've come, not to compare yourself to others, but just to see all of the beautiful work that you've done in graduation. Okay, so I'm going to get to the other reads now. So... I hope this was helpful for you. Actually, let me show you. I'm going to show you the read. Let's 
see if I'm holding on one second. I'm a little hooked here. Okay. So we have the seven of crystals there. For me, that's the divine feminine's heart in the E tower. The recent past, the ten of crystals, that's upright. The seven of crystals was reversed. Then the foundation here is the wounded warrior. He was reversed. The ten of wands was reversed too, which is good. Um, and then we have the ten of flames reversed in the middle there, so the nine and ten. The challenge being the twin flames, which was reversed there. And then the other underlying energies, the crowning position was the seven of cups upright. It's the stairway to heaven. And then the 4D bridge going across to the shadow side, this dark side of the moon, which was reversed. The masculine seeing himself as the nine of cups upright. And what's around him or how others might see him is the queen of wands reversed. And then we have the king of wands reversed in the block that they need to clear. And that he could be the more feminine in, in his karmic relationship too. That may be why that comes up that way. And then we have the blue, see the blue cards of him really needing to speak his truth with the throat chakra. And then we have the two of pentacles reversed. And then the knight of cups is behind those mini cards. Knight of cups is reversed. And then the knight of swords is upright. The star is upright and the world is upright as we end up on the journey card, the six of wands. You see that? Okay, so make sure you drink your water. It's the water so important not only for your health, but to connect. It's like um, ultrasound gel for you to connect spiritually. Uh, make sure you get your rest, your joy in nature, and always be good to yourself uh, every day. Find what makes you happy every day. That's the whole key here. And rise and be loved, guys. I'll talk to you soon.